got up a few minutes ago and yeah I heard that too you heard it uh-huh short as freckles yeah you know what we're gonna be doing tonight don't you sleeping <laughs> we're doing a follow-up investigation of our house okay um but anyway, I just got up, and I made myself some ham and eggs, and Kevin wanted some breakfast today, too, for the first time in a long time. I ran out of crunchy Rice Krispie, Rice Krispie treats. treats. So I made him some bacon and eggs. Yay! Is it good? It's good. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy in my tummy. Right? And there's Boomer. Well, you need to learn to tell Boomer, no. No, Boomer. Repeat after me. No, Boomer. Okay, when you're, in, when you're sitting there in the bed with, with uh, Mojo screaming, Stop, Mojo, stop! I'll tell you the same thing. That's No to the animals is not in my vocabulary unless they're <laughs> bothering you. I know. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So we are in the truck and getting ready to go out and about and do some stuff. I have my little cheetah ears on because I broke my black cat ears. She broke her black cat ears playing charades. <laughs> yes, you will see that one when we put the charades video up because we were playing charades with Nikki and John and Megan and Brian. So I was using them as a prop and I didn't mean to break them, but I did. <laughs> so one of the things we have to do today is we are going to drop off a big pile of books to the Goodwill bookstore because we have no need for them anymore, and um, they're just taking up space. So here we are. You can't see the sign, but it's a Goodwill bookstore, and Kevin just dropped a whole bunch of books into that blue bin over there. And now we are getting ready to go to the ceramic cupboard. Is that our next stop? Uh, we're going to drop off uh, the clothes next. And we have a big bag of clothes and shoes and stuff um, that Megan went through and got rid of a whole bunch of stuff. And we're going to go drop that off at the Goodwill store for clothes. Okay, so we're at Kevin's favorite restaurant. McGill Jr.'s, and he's eating roll. No, taquitos. You're eating taquitos, and you got what's in there? Carne asada tacos. Who? Two tacos. Two carne asada tacos, and I got a chicken tostada salad. Yeah. Or chicken taco salad, or something like that. I don't know, but it looks yummy. Kevin didn't want to go this way because there's so many lights this way. He was going to go on the freeway instead. But I said, let's go this way. And because of my magical powers, we haven't hit one light yet. You're going to jinx it. Your wife has magical powers. up on a light and it's green so what are we doing shopping where are we Walmart we're at Wally World no Wally World I give you my heart can I eat it it beats for you and you only yum 
<laughs> um, hon? Yeah? Thank you so very, very much for cleaning up the kitchen. You're welcome. But, um, why didn't you put the Tupperware away? Because I can't figure out the puzzle, the puzzle box you have as a Tupperware drawer. Well, somebody obviously tried to put some stuff away because it's not organized the way I put it. Well, all that stuff does not fit in that closet. Unless you have some sort of secret puzzle <laughs> method to put all them together. All that stuff does fit in there. And it will look very, very organized when I'm done. But can you pull any of it out without taking the whole thing? Yes! Yes! If you have a brain! <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so every time I want a piece of Tupperware, I have to get on the floor, pull everything out. No, you pull this out. Organize it, pull it all back in. You pull this out, all the lids are in here. Okay? Except for this set. If you pull these out, here's the lid to these two right here. Here are the lids. Here's a bento box one with the lid. Here's a this. What box? It's called a bento box. The heck's a bento box? It's got three. Why is it called a bento? I don't know. Ask Pepper Ferguson on her channel. She's the one who told me who uses these all the time and that she calls them bento boxes. Okay. Okay. And then we got this one. This these. is Superman. The amazing Superman one that... Um, Nobody it's, uses. It's Spider-Man! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to get into trouble for that one. Oh. So, these are all stacked right here with lids that you can get to nice and easily. Okay? This one, if you pull out, you've got all these square ones with lids right in this box here. This one has the lid right underneath it. This big one has the lid right underneath it. Plop! Plop, plop. Got some circular ones right here. Got this one square one. I'll put it in with these square ones. There. See? Ta da! And we'll put the lids right there. Alright, Jigsaw. Okay. It all fit! I know it does. It looks nice and neat! <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> Getting any of them out. That's your problem. What is the problem? None. Exactly. <laughs> Michelle, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Hello, everybody. So I am going to do another dinner. I'm cooking a London broil. And... I'm going to try a little something new that I haven't done yet before. I'm going to cook the London broil in my broiler in my oven, which I've done that before. I like it better when we cook it on the grill, but we're not going to do that. But I am going to cut up some mushrooms, some onions, and I am going to do like a little stir fry, and I'm going to mix in a packet of Lipton onion soup mix with some water and then after the onion broil is pretty cooked or almost done in the oven I'm going to cook it in with the Lipton onion soup mix mushrooms of course and you all know the very first thing I have to do is stab the steak and put my Montreal steak rub on it Wouldn't you all like to know who I think about when I do that? Right now. I'm not going to tell you. That's why I'm in here. <laughs> so another thing I like doing on my steaks and London broils and stuff like that is I like to marinate my steaks in beer. Since I didn't have time to marinate this, I actually poured some beer over it and I'm letting it sit. I did it once already and then I rubbed it in 
with the steak marinade, or Montreal steak marinade. And now I just poured a little bit more beer over it and I'm letting that sit. Over here I have the mushrooms and onions cooking right in here. And I'm getting ready to mix up the Lipton onion soup mix to add to that. And to top off our London broil mushrooms and onions, I'm going to make some Mediterranean curry couscous. So that takes only a couple of minutes to make in the microwave, so that's an easy one. Okay, so I didn't time how long I did anything, but I cooked the London broil in the oven on broil both sides for a little bit, and then I added it into the mushrooms and onions and Lipton onion soup mix. You can Not me, tilt I mean. it a little. <laughs> so that's all done, and I made some couscous over there behind Kevin. That is it fluffed? Yeah. That is also ready, I think. Is it ready? Look at the camera. Talk to the camera. Feed me. Is it ready? Yeah. Let's eat. <laughs> Another quick meal thrown together. Yay. So how's dinner, babe? Good. Do you like the way the steak turned out? Yeah, it's very tasty. Do you taste more of the beer or the Lipton onion soup mix or what? Um, I didn't really taste anything in particular. Mostly onions and... Mushrooms? Mushrooms. And how about the couscous? Not my favorite. It's couscous. I don't like the ginger flavor to it. Mm. I didn't know it was going to taste like ginger. It's Mediterranean curry. I don't taste any curry. I just, I taste ginger. That's weird. It's not bad. It's just not... Your favorite. Not my favorite. Hello, everybody. It's time for... What? What are you looking at? Your thing. Don't you look at my thing. <laughs> It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! Yay! It looks like a lot to me. No, it's just a lot of writing. Celine TV! Shout out to you! She's got a channel, guys, and she needs some subs. So everybody, go by and check out her channel, Give her some love and support. Subscribe and give her thumbs up. River of Life 95. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm about to sneeze. Go ahead. Take okay. on. Okay. Watermelon. What the hell does that mean? A <laughs> dollar in the cuss jar. You're down to $13 credit now. Just continue. <laughs> Adam Dawkins, welcome to the neighborhood. Blowing your nose on camera. No cooth, no cooth. Journey B, she just started her channel and she is awesome. We were her first subscribers and she has put up several videos since. And she's awesome. So I think you guys should all go by, check out her channel, watch her videos, give her a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and show her some love. And I think that y'all gonna fall. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Woo! I think you guys are all gonna like her. She did the zombie tag. My favorite girl of all times, Lucy Owl. She did an awesome video last night that you guys all need to go and check out on her channel. So everybody, please go by, check out Lucy Owl, give her a thumbs up, 
show her some love. Hit, hit, uh, hit subscribe. You guys. <laughs> all, oh. I, I'm with it. I really am. I really, really am. Keep going. Keep going. Blah, 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 blah. Tanya Ray. Tanya Ray. Finally got over her staph and strep infection. Yay. Yay. But now she has a cold. <laughs> Sorry, Tanya. I hope you feel better soon. You just have to stay home and watch Neighbors. Yeah, stay home, stay in bed, get plenty of rest, and watch the neighbors. Okay, the next two are uh, thoughts and prayers. Rocky and Rich, their friend Judith Kerr, yeah, has cancer. She she survived breast cancer before, and she was going into the hospital because she had a gastro infection. Well, they found out that she does not have a gastro infection. She, that her cancer is back. She has liver and brain cancer. And at first she was going to refuse treatment. And the doctor said if she did that, it was only a matter of days. Um, so they decided to, she decided to go ahead and do the treatment, but it's still not looking very good. So if everyone could please keep Judith Kerr and her family and friends, including Rocky and Rich, in your thoughts and prayers, I'm sure everybody in that family would greatly appreciate it. Bubba the Love Sponge, sorry to hear about the passing of your wife's son. I know how it feels to be in chronic pain and also to be very depressed. Hang in there. Um, everybody, please send your thoughts and prayers to Bubba the Love Sponge family and um, keep them in your thoughts and prayers and well wishes to Bubba to um, get through this depression and everything. And he says that Watching the neighbors every day gives him a little bit of a smile on his face. So I'm glad that we can do that for you. So our thoughts and prayers go out to you, Bubba, and to Judith Kerr and your family. Start your thing. It's time for <laughs> Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Dana, come to the dark side. We have pizza. <laughs> You're making me nauseous again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spew. Do your thing. Hey, give me my pillow. Give me my pillow. Give me my pillow. <laughs> You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. We love you so very much. Thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. Thumbs up, and we will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to check out the Neighborhood Zoo and Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, P-I-N. Bye! And the dog says, Woof. There you go. Bye.